Hi, and welcome to Start Building Your Website Here tutorial series. My name is Melissa, and I'll be your instructor for part of the series. The goal of this tutorial series is to show how you, with basic word processing and desktop publishing skills, can develop, manage, and maintain your own business web presence. In this series, we will guide you step by step through the process. We will assume that you have no special knowledge of doing this, besides being able to use Microsoft Word, Microsoft Publisher, and or some other similar types of business productivity software. You won't need to know HTML, CSS, XML, or any of the other technical elements involved in developing a website. This lesson assumes that you've selected a domain name and that you have a hosting account within Motion. If you have not yet taken this step, Please read our article about this and go through the steps of selecting your name and hosting account first. In this lesson, we will take a tour of the InMotion dashboard. So let's get started. First, I log into my InMotion C panel using the link provided by InMotion. So here I enter my username and password. and hit login. So here we are at the control panel and the first thing that you will see here is this getting started wizard. In particular, it has a very good description of the file structure that your website uses and so you can tell where your home directory is and your public FTP and public HTML are probably some of the things that we're going to talk about. But there's a little bit of text description of this, and is certainly well worth looking at. They also have a selection of video tutorials. Now, a bunch of these tutorials don't really apply to you. There's a lot of tutorials here for people who want to resell InMotion's web services. So there aren't a lot of real basic videos in here, but nevertheless you can look through here and find some of the stuff that you may need. Next here is where you can change your password. You could if you wanted to change language, update billing information, and give them some feedback. So that's your preferences section. Next in line is the mail section, and this is actually the first place we're going to start in the next lesson. Now that you have your domain name, you want to have an email address with that domain name, and you'll also want a way of accessing them and using that email address. We will address that here. This email address will also be necessary in order for you to set up your website. So in the next lesson, we would be creating an email address and showing how to link it to Gmail, Yahoo, and Outlook. Next, we have databases. We will be utilizing a database, but you won't realize it. It's going to happen without any interaction and won't require anything from you. The next section is software services. Once we get our mail set up and running, we will be installing WordPress using Fantastico. It will be very simple to do. And finally, there's this advanced section which at this point is not going to require anything from us. So that's the control panel, and that about wraps up lesson one. You have established an account on InMotion, and you've established your domain name. In lesson two, we will talk about setting up email from this domain name and attaching it to one of your email clients.